What pride flag is that in the second frame? You mean this Irish flag in the background? This one, right here. I assume you're talking about this one because this flag is not to do with pride. Educate yourself. To be fair, I didn't know if this was the Irish flag or Italian flag at first, but I think the biggest giveaway was the really funny comments people left on this tweet. IRA, more like they are gay. Oh, good one. Don't worry, it gets better to do with how you would know this is actually the Irish flag. It's the pride flag for loving and having spaghetti with potato. <laughs> Do you know what? Reading it out loud, it actually kind of was funny, but that's just because of my own immature humour. But Jesus, educate yourself. No, because these nuts jokes said by men is just spaghetti harassment at this point. Ha 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 ha, imagine dragging these nuts on your face. I'll call the police. I don't give an F. There's literally a cell waiting for you. Why would you say that to a woman? Take some time to reflect. Okay, not... Not only is the biggest problem with this is that the fact that these nuts jokes just are not funny, but just the fact that pe people are saying you could go to jail for making a these nuts jokes. These nuts, like, come on, you can't not say that, like, you you've gotten someone or heard a these nut jokes and maybe just cracked out a little bit more breath out your nose. I mean, Jesus, like, imagine having to go to court because you made a joke about these nuts. <laughs> It's so bad. Okay, welcome back everyone. It's your favorite default boy here. Today we're looking at gimmick Twitter accounts. It's called Gen Z Moments. If you lovely people could smash like and subscribe, that would be really lovely and you can unsubscribe at any point. Let's go. So when are we going to talk about how Americans saying Bon Appetit is literally borderline cultural appropriation? What? What are you talking about? I, as a British man, am I meant to say that people can't drink tea because that is cultural appropriation? Like, no, shut up. These people suck. This blue Nintendo Switch Lite is available now, and it's just a nice Nintendo Switch. And then you've just got someone who's responded, you forgot the trigger warning for the color blue. I, I wish I could say this is satire to some extent, but I, I wouldn't put it past some people like who see something that is the color blue and ask for a trigger warning. Like, did they have a bad experience with Papa Smurf? Like, how do you have it? Why do you need a trigger warning for the color blue? New sexuality. It's called Barlow, where you are sexually attracted to bees. Right, okay. Yes, it's real. The slur against these people is can. Please don't say it if you're not Barlow. What? <laughs> Who? Whoever looks at a... a what? Like, what is... Like, give me a minute to process this. Okay, I'm back. I don't really know what to say. I, I can't really get my head around the thought process of someone looking at a bee and being like, Damn, that's... That's a thick bee. <laughs> like, what? What? I, I... I don't get it. I don't get... I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, it's so weird. To be honest, this is really insensitive. People have peanut allergies and gluten intolerance, and you're out here acting like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are a universal experience. This was a quote tweet on someone saying, who remembers eating these? Like, do, do people just want to be sad? Do people just want others to feel bad for them because they couldn't have the same experiences as others? Like eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I've never eaten a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I'm not gluten intolerant or have any allergy to peanuts, but I'm not out here complaining that others have enjoyed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like, why are people getting upset about that? I was three years old when I found out that Las Vegas is in Nevada and not California. I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this, but who is putting that much thought into where Las Vegas is? Like, <laughs> like who cares? Who cares? <laughs> like, no one, no one is thinking that much about where Las Vegas is and the fact that it's in Nevada and not California. Sorry, sorry, love. Eating a straw to prove that turtles are. Wow, this this guy, this guy's a machine. Watch out for this guy. With this one here, I'm gonna put money down that this one is actually satire because when someone tells me I have white privilege, not knowing I'm literally Italian, like I don't. I don't know why, if this isn't satire, you have to spell Italian like that, 
But I, I did in the process actually find a funny meme to go with this in the comments. Someone you know is gay, someone you know is bi, someone you know is transgender, and someone you know is Italian. Maybe even someone you love. <laughs> Think before you speak hate. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna safely say that this one is Italian because no one No one is like hating on Italians right now. Where are you from? Jordan like the shoes man. Some people really are stupid What's your ethnicity a girl obviously do some people just not go to school? Like how can you be this dumb what gender you are and your ethnicity are two totally different things? So dumb. Like, what is everyone's ethnicity in the comments? Comment that below. I want to know. All other LGBT groups have their own slur, but bisexuals, nothing. It's so unfair. Sh surely that's a good thing, right? To not have a slur against who you are. Everyone wants to be so badly done to that they actually want something negative <laughs> so they can feel bad. That is so dumb. But, I mean, part of me wants to believe that this is actually satire because there is the Joker right there. But if this is real, then this person needs to get in the bin. Gave up anorexia because it was getting too mainstream. Okay, dude, I'm actually lost for words here. Am I the bad guy for laughing at how stupid this is? Saying you have anorexia only to not have it because it's not cool to have it? I is that the joke? Am I being played here and this is sarcasm or something? Or are these kids just actually this stupid? You're literally white. Assuming I'm white just because I'm white passing, I'm 75% French and 25% Belgian. What's white passing? I've, I've never heard of that. And not to be bad or anything, but you do look pretty white. Like, what's the actual, what's the actual thing people are trying to get out here? Is she trying to say she's not white? I, oh my god. Stop, why is he, she, they so cute? Are you afraid to misgender a fish? That's a good point, it's a fish. Like, <laughs> who cares? It's a fish. My dad was actually killed in the line of duty last year. Ratio. <laughs> Damn man, this guy really ratioed this guy's comment on his dad's death. Like, <laughs> why would you do that? Oh, this is so cute. Sends a SWAT team to your exact address. Oh, God. So, so, the creator responded, This joke isn't funny. I struggle with extreme paranoia. Please be mindful of the things you comment. And then someone else commented, I am living in your walls. Like, who, who reads a comment online of what I assume is TikTok and is going to think, Oh, yeah, this, this person is going to send a SWAT team to my house. Like, who... <laughs> It's like, it's bad for laughing, but I mean, come on. <laughs> That's going to be it for today's video. I feel like if I go on with any more with this, I, I might have the bee lovers after me. And I just don't know if it's a real thing or if it's satire at this point. I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like and subscribe and follow my social medias down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.